Hey, it's Jeremy Mitch. Today on Roblox playing some more Project Pokemon against the screen. And today I'm going to be uh, doing a or an updated EV training guide um, on Project Pokemon to make sure your Pokemon are the strongest that they can possibly be. So I have already done one of these and it was based on Elegant Valley. This one's not going to be based on Elegant Valley. It's a new method to EV train that is a lot quicker than the Elegant Valley. And I'll be showing you that. So thank you for ISO for actually making these bots. I'll make sure to link ISO's YouTube channel and his profile and his google document which is amazing i'll show that um in a little bit in this video but what you want to do firstly is come to the elegant valley um you get here by just using the taxi guy and then you want to talk to this guy in this hut and you can tell your base stat points is which you cannot change at all these are the pokemon's um base stats obviously now the evs and the ivs um are different ivs and project pokemon work completely different to um any other game Pokemon related, so usually for IV you, you have to um, breed for them, but because Project Pokemon does have breeding, there is an item that you can buy in the competitive uh, side of the Poke Market to increase all of these, but we're not going to be talking about that. I will include it a little bit just in case uh, people are going to be interested in it, but we're going to be focused on EVs, so EVs. Quickly before we uh, show how to EV tree, I'm going to show a few Pokemon that I have in my party to show you what you might I or you want to ideally EV trainer Pokemon. So Garchomp is the fastest non-legendary dragon with a uh, base stat speed of 102 um, and a decent or uh, good attack uh, 130. So of course Garchomp's going to outspeed every dragon. Make sure I made sure that its speed is maxed out at 252 and its attack is maxed out at 252 with the remaining six EVs in something just to help it tank a little bit better. Usually it would go into HP, but I just printed defense because, I mean, why not? But yeah, I mean, this is going to maximize as well as the IV. So the IVs and the EVs are maxed out for speed and attack. So it's going to mean it's going to be the fastest Garchomp and it's going to be the hardest hitting Garchomp um, in the game. Or, or, or only if other Pokemon don't have the ex ex exact set. So I'd, I'd, I think for Garchomp, I'd always run this set there's no point in trying to make it a tank because it's type-in doesn't really make it too much of a tank since it's weak to a lot of things however some pokemon like bliss however are very slow very bad at attack defense is very bad it actually can get one hit even with its immense hp special attack is uh, decent but what you really want to make bliss do is just a special uh, defense tank which is why on the EVs, I've EV trained in HP, which um, at level 100, I believe, gives it 700 and something HP. And special defense just makes sure that it can tank every single special defense or special attack that is thrown at it. Then the rest is just thrown to special attack because its all stats aren't really that bad. Uh, IVs, again, maxed out. All my Pokemon's IVs will be maxed out because I always buy that. But that's just for Blissa, certain Pokemon. Now, this is going to be... Uh, interesting for a few people so tangrowth is pretty much like blizzard but the complete opposite but a little bit better for tanking defenses so this is mine very slow very poor in special defense compared to defense it's got some good special attacks so mine is weird mine isn't a special attacker or a physical attacker mine's a troll tank so mine's ev train hp and defense the moves i have on it are protect toxic um Synthesis and Leech Seed. So what you want to do is toxic Pokemon, Leech Seed it, so leg getting uh, damage dealt to them by being poisoned. I'm also getting HP back from Leech Seed. I protect when I think they're gonna hit me with a really good attack, so um, they're gonna get toxic stall damage, and then I synthesize to get more HP. It's just a troll set I run on Tangrove, just because I mean, I like uh, having tanks on my team. Okay, now I wasn't going to show Scizor, but Scizor is very similar to Metagross. Now, Metagross is really interesting, as all Pokemon like Metagross, especially since it Mega Evolve. You can't Mega Evolve in this game, but for Brick Bronze, it kind of helps once Metagross is introduced. It's just going to give you an idea on how to effectively EV train a Pokemon. So, Metagross isn't very fast. It's decent, but it gets outsped by a lot of things, so there's no point in doing that. So, its attack is very good, its defense is good, and its HP is good, special defense is good, special attack, there's no point in it, its attack is a lot better. So, um, what I've EV trained mine in is attack and defense maxed out, although you can EV train in attack and HP to give it a little bit of special defense um, tanking capability, but when I first got Metagross, uh, I just EV trained in defense, 
it depends really what you want it to do. I feel like this is one of the better options for me that I found out, but that's Metagross. Now, when it Mega Evolved, it actually gets 110 speeds, which is why for a Mega Metagross, you might want to EV train in attack and speed because it's going to outspeed a lot of Pokemon, including Garchomp. So, that's that. Just before, we, like I said, just before we get on to the um, how to EV train or this new EV train guide. So, I just really wanted to quickly make sure people understand that. Also, before I uh, continue, I'll make sure um, once you, before you start EV train, make sure to go up to that guy and actually have a look at your Pokemon's EVs. The reason why, if there's like a hundred in every start, which you can't, uh, if you want to know the maximum amount of EVs you can have on the Pokemon, a maximum amount of uh, EVs on the Pokemon is 510. As you saw, a lot of my Pokemon were 252 in two stats and then 6 in a nuller. That is because you're only allowed 510 stats on a Pokemon through its stats completely. But uh, the maximum amount of uh, EVs you can have on one stat is 252. Otherwise, it's kind of broken if you put like 510 to one um Start. It's going to be a little bit weird, so just really want to quickly make sure that because in the last video I did about EV training, people are quite confused. So if you want to know, just have a calculator and just pretty much count up your EVs um, to make sure you've got enough to actually have over left. But anyway, uh, once you've had a look at your EVs before you started EV training, uh, and you probably got like what 100 in HP, 100 in attack, 100 in special attack. You don't really want Pokemon to be a, a physical attacker and a special attacker at once. So I suggest you go over to the Pokemon Market. Mini stat points are okay, but when you want to start EV training from beginning or from scratch, make sure to buy your stat reset. Once you buy this, it's going to reset your Pokemon EVs from whatever they are. Every single stat will go down to zero, so you can actually EV train from scratch and make your Pokemon the strongest in the stats you can. And I will say really quickly, if you have the Pokedolls for it, you can actually buy these items in the Poke Market in under competitive, um, such as Calcium. So you can use these. Um, they only give you 10 EVs per one use, and you can use 20. So even though um, I might use, let me see, 20 car bosses on my Garchomp, I'm still going to need a another 52 EVs in speed for it to be maxed out. So, just really want to quickly do that. And again, like I said, just before I go on again, to get maximum IVs, you want to buy Poke Improvers. So, this maxes out a random Pokemon IV. So, if you want to get maxed out IVs, you have to buy six of these. Um, and use them on one Pokemon to get that Pokemon's maxed out IVs in every single stat. It's expensive. Uh, you don't need to do it. EV train is enough, but since I've EV, EV trained and IV trained, um, your Garchomp won't outspeed my Garchomp unless it's um, fully maxed out on the IVs as well. Now, if you're wondering, so what happens if a Pokemon's the exact same speed? Well, it's pretty much a head. It's a head. Uh, a head flip? No, um, a coin flip for who goes first. But anyway, let's get on to how to EV train really quickly before this video starts getting way too long. But first, what you do? Go Saffron. So yeah, and like I said, um, this is all thanks to ISO. I was working on some bots myself. Uh, I actually got speed done, but I decided, okay, there's no point doing it because ISO's already done it for us, so he's the man for that. So anyway, I'm going to put on screen right now some um, text, and these are going to be all the bots that you can use. So for example, ISO underscore HP is going to give me HP um, EVs for every time I KO them. So... Um, ISO has six boss, obviously HP attack, defense, special attack, special defense and speed. Just make sure to go over to this guy, input the one that you want. So ISO HP, then I'll enter it. The bottle loads, I'll battle it. Um, so the HP one actually has six level two Needle Queen. So Needle Queen gives three um, EVs for HP. Uh, so once you've beaten him, you're gonna get a total of I can't even do math. So let me just pull out a calculator real quick. So three times six, you're gonna get 18 EVs per. Wait, is that right? Three times six. Yeah, that's right. So 18 EVs per one battle with this bot right here. So um, once you've done that, you're just gonna have to re battle him till you get all 252. So you'll battle him around what 15-ish times, and you'll be maxed. Um, so once you think you've done, just go back to the Elegant Valley guy, make sure you've done, and then you can swap bots and start each other with a different stat. So uh, to make this go a lot quicker, you can actually use Poke Boosters for the effort values. 
Although this is really quick, so you shouldn't need to, but it's always an option if you have the extra poker dollars, I guess, or the Robux. So that's what the HP. Um, I'll quickly battle them just to quickly show you, but for the one that I would I need to EV train right now is my freaking Hydreigon because I need to start EV train that for a theme team, so they'll be out very soon. So I mean, a few Pokemon that I've finished actually EV trains right on. Frolligator, Aerodactyl, the Mork, I finished EV train pretty uh, soon or pretty recently. So uh, now I'll put in ISO Special Attack, which is this. So unfortunately, the special attack was too long for him to put. But like I said, all of the um, bot names will be linked up on, or not linked up on screen, but just shown on screen. But once you put him on, you can battle this guy. Just, pre just press yes battle him and that's pretty much it to be honest like just have to keep rebattling it for the stats you want so this one's a vile plume it's going to give me three evs for special attack so all i have to do is just keep it quick and because my guard jumps level 100 there's no way these things are going to live so yeah that's very good but um quickly once i've finished just doing this and i'll show you my evs on my hydragon just to show i think i've ev reset them so it should be all zero but this is pretty much how you ev train on project pokemon now it's probably one of the easiest things in the world to do now so it's worth doing it just worth putting a bit of time in if you're going to be invested in completing the game if you're struggling on the AFG gym or the elite four this is a very very appropriate way to do because i mean i didn't ev train for elite four um but i still beat it although and again, I mean, it wasn't really that hard for me because um, I managed to get off a lot of sword answers and just things to set up against. But some people might not use that, but EV train is definitely the way to go. So make sure to do that. But there's the bot. I mean, then all you have to do is keep battling again. But let's go show off really quickly the EVs I just got for that Hydreigon. So like I said, battled the um, special attacking bot. So I should have special attack... EVs right now. I shouldn't have anything else for, for Hydreigon. I think I'm going to EV train it in, let me see, speed and special attack since those are the two highest. Usually for Pokemon they don't want EV train, it's usually going to be the best two stats that um, are going to make it the best. So I mean Hydreigon's best stats points are speed and special attack but there we go, 18 in special attack. So now I'm just going to do that until special attack is 252. And then I'll do it for speed. And then there'll be six left over. Unfortunately, level 100 force EVs equals one um, stat point. So if I get four special attack, Hydreigon's special attack is going to go by one stat point. So if I go over here, I'll show it stats. So as you can see, 228. Um, so if I just do a quick mass again, so 18 to, uh, divided by 4, that's going to be 4.5. So I was just going to round downwards, not upwards. So that means before I got those 18 stat points, this will be in 222. No, 224. So yeah, I mean, I, I just woke up okay, so I can't do mass. But that's pretty much that. So yeah. And if you don't want to use this bot system and you just want to battle wild pokemon because you might want to try and find legendaries or shines at the same time while leave each one which i actually advise but this is a lot quicker route uh, or a quicker method so yeah actually and it, uh, just just in case you're wondering this is going to be linked down in the description this is a list of pokemon that you can found or find in any route in project pokemon it's pretty good to be honest i mean i definitely use this a lot and like like i said um the bots in case i did forget to put them up on the screen they're right here but i probably will but anyway if you want to make sure that you're battling wild pokemon and making sure that you want to kill the certain or the right pokemon to get the evs you might want to use this site because this is amazing so not every pokemon gives the same ev so for example bulbasaur gives one special attack charmander gives one speed Squirtle gives one defense. That is because usually the Pokemon give um, the EVs out compared to what their highest stat point is. So Charmander's um, highest stat is probably speed. I'd, I'll say that's pretty accurate. But if I scroll down to this, this will also be linked in the description. It is Pokemon database. Um, 
I use it for a lot. It isn't very accurate on certain things, but this is definitely accurate. And there we go. I mean, it's highest that is speed. That's usually how you work it out. It's not the case every time, though. I, I will have to say that low. So I'll, like I said, I'll link this down because this is very, very helpful. Okay, and I wish this would load low. Do I just have to refresh it? There we go. And like I said, I mean, if you find a wild Pokemon, so let's say I found a Zapdos, all you have to do is just type it into the name bar once the freaking site loads, please. Okay, there we go. But yeah, let's just say I type in Zapdos. Does the site want to work, please? I've typed in Zapdos like, okay, I think I've typed it in a lot of times. So, but yeah, just type in Zapdos. It's going to show me Zapdos gives free special attack. So, there we go. I mean, that's pretty much it, all to EV train, to be honest. And like I said, I mean, probably one of the easiest things to do to make sure that your Pokemon's as strong as they can be, so it's kind of worth doing if you're, like I said, if you're going to be invested in the PvP side of Project Pokemon. But yeah, I think that's it for this video. If I've missed anything, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to answer it. But yeah, I think I've got everything f off for this video. I, I kind of made it way too long, to be honest, but yeah, I mean, it, trying to explain everything in a very short amount of time is just going to be confusing and just more questions, so... There we go. I hope that is everything. So yeah, now I'm just going to go EV train this Hydreigon. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys next time.